father kept records, Victor. But he didn't keep them all in one place. His work took him all over the world. That's a lot of ground to cover. Yes, 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 yes. I've heard this before. It always sounded like an excuse. Now it just sounds like a stall. Well, I'd have a lot more time to focus on the search if I knew my baby girl and her mother were safe and sound with me. Oh, so I'm expected to recover your baby along with her mother and return them to you. And in exchange, you'll what, keep looking for the key to Drew? Yeah, it doesn't sound like a very fair exchange to me. I'm not convinced Drew's worth it. Well, you have more than two years invested in the guy. Not to mention all your personnel he took out while trying to escape. So why? Why give up on him now when you're so close to the payoff? Because you managed to thoroughly lose your baby, Peter. And it's going to cost me a lot of effort and influence to find her. But you can find her. No point in guessing what Victor is after. Let's just stick with what we actually know. What are you and Anna doing in Crete? Oh, where do I start? The mother of Peter August's daughter is Maxie Jones. Right, Obrecht told me all this. Maxie hired a baby nurse. Peter replaced her with somebody that works for him. That woman kidnapped the baby and then handed her off to a third person and then died. That's right. Peter's nurse is dead, but amazingly, the nurse that Maxie originally intended to hire is alive and in Crete. Chloe Jennings. Okay, how do you know that now? Because she was here too. I mean, we tried to break out together. We got as far as the parking lot, and then I held off the guards so that she could make it to one of the cars and escape. But Russell, the guy who runs this place for Victor, was sure that they would track her down, find her, bring her back here. I'm just... I just happened to know they didn't. Chloe Jennings was in a single car accident. What? Was she hurt? No, she was able to walk away to a small village called Panapolia, to a tavern, the same one where I was drinking. And then she passed out, but not before telling them her name and that she's an American citizen. Chloe passed out? Yeah. The locals contacted the authorities. They took her to the American consulate where she's at the hospital. Well, how, how is she? I don't know. Last time I saw her, she was unconscious. Oh, damn. I don't know. I told her to go. Well, maybe she's awake because the doctor said that her condition was not considered serious. I hope so. I mean, nothing in her life prepared her for this place, but she handled it like a pro, and now she's somewhere safe. How much does she know? She only dealt with Russell. I mean, she doesn't know anything about Victor and Peter. But she knows about you, doesn't she? 